Hey everyone, and welcome back to The Binding of Isaac. Cain it is. I think. I think that's okay. I'm pretty sure that's okay. Having a lucky foot is nice. Better gambling and only good or neutral pills. Starting with a key, having 20% more damage for only one heart less. I'm totally fine with it. And Mr. Mega, now that's an awesome start. Five more bombs and they now do a lot more damage and have a larger blast radius. Which is really useful means I don't have to do the trick to leave the room and re-enter to increase their blast radius because that doesn't work on Mr. Mega because it has that blast radius already. Which is sweet. So it saves me a little bit of time there. I'll do it. Alright, well I have Tammy's head now and I don't normally, like I never get to use this item when it shows up. So now I can shoot 10 directional tiers that do uh, my damage plus 25. Never mind. Get wrecked, Tammy's head. <laughs> it's uncanny, it really is. There's always a better spacebar item. I was gonna use it, but no. It's not more fun, and it's not better, it's not anything. 12 cents, awesome. Not quite enough to uh, take me to the shop though, sadly. So, yeah. So this spawns 2 to 5, 2 to 4. 2 to 4 kamikaze flies. Those do twice my damage, and you know, I'm Kane, so that's pretty not bad. And it's usable every room. So is uh, Tammy's head, but, you know, I would I get much more damage and use out of this, even though each individual tier hits for my damage plus 25 with Tammy's head. It's just a lot less likely to hit because these home in on enemies. Shot speed up, so I'll be skipping that item, and I guess I can get out of here. No specials yet. So, uh, well, we'll see how things go. Wow. That's bad luck that <laughs> didn't feel like dying there. Nice, got a key. I just lost my devil room chance. Well, let's fight the boss and see what comes out of it. Alright, worked out. I do want to have a soul heart in case I want to over... Uh, take my devil deals. Ah, uh, well, I'm taking the pact, which is 0.5 damage up, 0.7 tears up, and two soul hearts. Pretty nice. Let's see what this pill does. Bad gas. And then we have the empress, which is like three point something damage up and a speed up for a room. Alright, I will probably go to this curse room as well. Excuse me. Order. I don't really see a reason to take that. It's not particularly useful, and I could get a um, an opportunity to farm super greed four quarters if I find a D6 or something. So I'm now two thirds of the way to becoming Guppy, which is awesome. That's some good luck. So all I need is one more item, and I will be the cat. Well, I also need to not die. I do get to go to this shop, which can't be greed. Too early for that. Tears up, fantastic. All right, I need to just not die. That's a red chest, I'm probably gonna be, uh, be doing that. All right, I will buy the habit and the key. Habit is every time I get hit, I get three ticks of charge for my spacebar item, so that two hits will be a full charge. Alright, so uh, I was hoping that that would give me my last guppy item, obviously. It clearly did not. But no big deal. Alright, another new pill. Range up, that's something you really want as Kane, so that's fantastic. The fortune teller, we can't lose. Alright, well then. Stay away from that. I'm taking Guppy's head. Because I like the way that uh, I don't have soul heart generation. I think that's more fun. At least not active soul heart generation. Passive soul heart generation I'll just take because it's silly not to, but I can have more fun using this item than I can using the crystal ball. The crystal ball is absolutely the item I should take though. 
Alright, immediate item room. Ghost baby, I'm skipping. It's not something I like. It's familiar to spectral tears. I don't like familiars. Alright. This shop also cannot be greed. Hopefully I get enough money to go there. I'm not going to be missing out on the habit anymore if I do go there without enough money, but uh, I still like having it. So far it looks pretty good. Kane's Eye, by the way, my trinket, is uh, when I enter a floor, 25% chance for a compass effect for the floor. So it's not really very good, but it can be. Like, it can work and then it's nice. It just rarely does, because 25% chance on an occurrence as rare as entering a floor is not something that you expect to have pay out very often. Because it's not even likely that you're going to keep it for more than like a floor or two. So it's just not a very high chance of it ever really doing anything when you're using it. So if you already have two kamikaze flies, you shouldn't use Guppy's head until you're uh, already in the next room, because you're going to lose them if you get too many flies from it. If you get good luck, basically, then you're going to lose some flies. So that's something to uh, not do. Alright, I will check this. Purse is happening. You had best be believing that. See what's in here. Alright, so that's enough money. I'm still going to go to the secret room that should be next to this challenge room. Can't bomb through the challenge room. I have to bomb through the uh, normal rooms next to it. But it should be good. Got a bomb, too. So, let's go to the secret room, see how much money we get, and then grab our second trinket slot. That's not it. All right, then this should be. I'm surprised that wasn't it. I don't know why it wasn't, but it wasn't, and that's what really matters here, right? So I'll grab this purse. Spawn some flies. Boss is the hollow. Random direction switches are not my friends. The perfect bomb has occurred. So these chargers have less health than normal chargers because they were spawned from the boss, which is nice because if they had full health, I would have a lot tougher of a time dealing with them. But they're really not so bad. No lucky devil room, but we get one damage up from the pentagram. Uh, all right then, and an increased devil room chance in the future. So since this is here the, instead of below, that leads me to believe that this is the top secret room. Which contains not my last guppy piece, dang. So close, red chests, man, red chests. Well, let's get to the next floor and get to it. Curse the Lost. Yeah, no kidding. That was a pretty trolly move game. Oh well, I can still get to the boss challenge room, which is a useful room to have. Barely used that uh, head in time. Yeah, it's got a health up. I'll take a health up. Monstro, you don't stand a chance. Because I'm not, like, attached to having only soul hearts. Or anything. I just happened to have only soul hearts there. Because that's just how much, how much the pact cost me. And how much I had. Thank you. Cool. Well, I may as well clear this side of the floor while I'm here. Get it out of the way, not have to come back.
All right. I will certainly bomb for this beautiful pair of items. Then be on my way. We'll head towards the arcade again, just in case there's another fortune teller in there that isn't going to break immediately. It can give me another um, crystal ball, and I think it will have a full charge now because we've gone between floors without having it. Well, I have to play this dude. I don't have a choice. Alright, well, I'll, I'll wait because I need to be able to get into the uh, arcade, of course. Nice. Alright, there we go. Flies can overkill things, and then they'll do full damage still, and continue on to attack another enemy. Look at that. Beautiful. High Priestess versus Empress? I don't honestly know. I can hold two trinkets, so... Pinky Eye is a one-tenth chance that a tear I fire will be a, uh... Really? Will be a... Poison Tear. Do some damage over time to an enemy. Okay, I'm getting you out of the way. Two of Spades, not bad. you out of the way now. Using the two of spades. There we go. Seriously? Bloody penny. When I pick up a coin, 50% chance for a half red heart drop. With any luck, this is sustainable. See, this is what I'm after. Oops. Messed up a little bit there. Alright. Just do this for a little while. Play this a little more. Tower. Not quite what I'm after. Strength. That's good. All stats up for a room. Polaroid and Bloody Penny, though. And hopefully I just find a better trinket. And then we're good anyway. Doesn't really matter, right? That's the idea. So Polaroid just to kind of have already. And uh, sure, I'll take that with it. The Pearl, that's good. So since I have only a half heart as well as a bunch of soul hearts, every time I get hit I'll have 5 seconds of invincibility from the Polaroid right now. Ladder. Alright, well, I didn't take it from the shop, so... I also don't have a D6. Oops, I'm screwed. Oh, that luck. Luck right now is real. Yeah, that's right, I can skip you. Uh, and let's see, Mom's Pearl. Extra consecutive 10% chance that a non-specific soul heart drop, or non-specific heart drop is a soul heart drop. So we have a base 10% chance, a consecutive 10% chance. That gives us a 19% chance overall. If you want it as a singular chance, of course. So it's not great, but it's not terrible. It's much better than 10 Alright, Distant Admiration, that would be my first special, and I'm actually going to definitely take that, because I need a special. And that does 5 damage every hit, hits every few frames, and it's just a longer distance orbital than your standard. So we've got like a 50% chance to be fighting Greed here. So I guess I'm going to find out. Alright. 
100% chance that 50% chance turns out in, a, in an affirmative greed fight. Secret room. There are a couple of locations. I'll just hope it's the one that's right here. Dude, the keys right now are awesome. Nice, good luck. Nine more cents. I don't even know what to do with this. Besides, I should gamble, but I don't want to. Dang. Fine. Show me the devil room. No devil room, really. And I still got a special item. Health up and uh, two soul hearts. Okay. Anything else I need here? I'm gonna go with no. I don't care about the Polaroid invincibility. We're, we're good. We're good. And look, another blood donation machine right away. Since I don't have, um, since it doesn't cost a full heart, it doesn't do the half heart recovery glitch. So I'm, I'm happy about that. I could play it while I was invincible a little bit. I took the speed and range up just because of the range up, really. We should be guaranteed this double room. I shouldn't possibly lose all of the health that it would require to take red damage, red heart damage. So we get a devil room here. We hopefully become guppy. Everything is good. The world is saved. That's the plan. No small rock. I really wanted that. Common question is whether or not the small rock is uh, affected by your special items. It is not. It happens to be a special item, but it uh, can't be rerolled to something else by generation. It is always the small rock. All right, Lord of the Pit, flight and speed up by 0.3. It was free, even though I'm going to get flight from Guppy. I don't have a D6, so I may as well have it, right? It would be silly not to take it. And at least it mitigates my speed concerns by giving me flight, so I can maneuver as precisely as I want wherever. Well, maybe not precisely, but wherever I want, rather than needing to be very precise. That's the way to look at it. IV bag. I don't need infinite money right now. Alright. Don't really need that. I'd rather have the Polaroid invincibility, I suppose. Didn't use that soon enough to uh, get the charge back. Hey, look at this. I don't even need infinite money from the IV bag when I've got... My luck. Okay, there's our boss. That's exactly what I wanted to see. Alright, don't get to use my fly on that. It's okay. Four flies, excellent. Alright, that's my fault. Dang it. Well, that is Tears Up and Two Soul Hearts. These are not uh, the guppy items I aim for. Alright then. That's unfortunate. But Tears Up and Two Soul Hearts is good. Alright. Looking for the secret room doesn't really appeal to me on this floor. It looks hard to find, as there are a lot of possible locations for it. So just guessing right doesn't even seem reasonable. Greed's not in the shop, I already know that, because Greed was in the last shop. Man, red chests, you did me so much good on the first couple of floors, giving me two guppy items, and then I just can't get more. I just want another guppy item, man. trying to hand me things, and then you just hold the rest out of reach. Alright, that... 
That is good. Soul hearts are nice. I blame, oh, okay. I have no orbitals, so I have no real recourse for mistakes of certain natures. Oh, that's un unlucky. All right, that problem solved. Treasure map and a bomb. Treasure map shows us the layout of the floor, including the secret room location. Not what any of the rooms are though. Still quite nice. Isaac's head, no thank you. I'm waiting to find uh, Cancer or Curved Horn because it'll go so well having any, like my build is just good for either. I have a very high rate of fire, so cancer would obviously be fun because it would make my fire rate insane. But, oh, you butt. But it, uh, it's, it's fine. I'd take either, like I said. All right, well, let's get out of here. I think that everything is going pretty well. Unlikely to get the devil room on the next floor. But we'll see what happens. I'm going to take a drink of water, if you'll excuse me. Alright, so the most likely secret room look or sorry, not secret room location, boss room location is going down and then right, it looks like. So I'm gonna go everywhere but there. In the meantime, hope for like a curse room or red chest luck. Alright, I didn't really need the money, but it was better than just a normal poop. Because the chance of that giving me a soul heart, pretty low. But I didn't have 99 cents, so I didn't go for it. I've done that in the past, just ditched a golden poop with the chance of, um, like a soul heart, but I already had 99 cents or very close to it. Dang, there was no other mini boss on the floor. I went for it. Hoping that my shop was still useful. It was not. All right then. And I guess it's good I got flight since I didn't become guppy when I expected to. It's rather useful, in fact. Whoops. It's close, dog. Calm down. Okay, there's the item room. As desired. Arrow card is the lovers. Really need a teleport of some sort. Scapular, alright, that's nice. Gives me a soul heart if I get down to half a red heart once per room maximum. There's my curved horn to go with my Polaroid. Plus two damage outside of all formulas and things. Except a couple maybe. Someone keeps trying to tell me that. And I don't know which ones. Because uh, I've either forgotten or it wasn't specified. And I don't know if it's true. But it might be inside at least some particular formulas. It might work with something. But it's not inside of the normal damage formula square root one. Man, my aim was bad there. Alright, curse room still pretty likely. We're gonna see if we can pull that off. Ah. Oop, I didn't quite make it. I tried. Alright, so we've got a good pair of trinkets. One necessary, one just good. There we go. Red chests save the day. So now every time I hit with a tear, I spawn a kamikaze fly which does twice my damage. And I don't know if they are affected by curved horn or not. Maybe the formula that they're inside is that one. So no longer do I really need Guppy's head for my fly spawning. I can still use it within a room for a few extra flies. So Guppy's tail increases the rate of chest and golden chest drops and decreases the rate of all other drops. So I should be a little more careful with my use of ease now. Because I'm going to get a lot of golden chests. Probably. 
which I should save for the chest. So I don't have a teleport, and I'm just going to go for it. We'll just count on the fact that we're not getting a devil room here, because hopefully we're not. Really? Pageant boy? Alright, well, I already have the Polaroid, so we're good to go. Seems that we'll be going downward. Let's see what this beggar wants to offer me. Hopefully something nice. Book of Revelations. I do need one orbital. However, I'm not going to swap that for my current item, because, like I said, active soul heart generation is boring and helpful. Whereas passive soul heart generation is maybe boring, but... It's not really boring, it's helpful, but it's not getting in the way. This is the last time that I can fight a horseman anyway, so I'm fine using it there. Gives me a soul heart, forces me to fight death here. Unless we get the conquest glitch, which I'd, st I'd still get a cube of meat for. Okay, we didn't get conquested. I can't believe I didn't get hit there. Alright, no devil room. That's fine. Onwards then. I don't need a devil room at this point. Oh, that's ugly and tough to tell what's the right way. So I'll just go with this way first. Secret room might be a shortcut, but it also might not. I'm not even sure. Quad shot. That would reduce my fly spawning. Simply because it's all happening at once and the game doesn't like that. But I don't like that. I want to spawn all the things. I didn't think this would be the right one. Wait, two means it's a, a one and down takes priority, I think? But that's a longer path anyway, so never mind me. Full health, you jerk. Well, no, no more Polaroid invincibility, I guess. Who needs it anyway? Okay, so this is the right way. I think that's more rooms anyway, though, so which I should have just checked here first. Instead of being silly. Alright. This is going pretty quickly, as you might notice. Alright, repeated bombs, so I'm gonna back off. Cube of Meat will block tears, unlike the uh, fly I current or had before that. That only does damage, and it does 7 damage per hit, but it doesn't hit very often at all. Alright, guess we'll go this way. Speed up. Door. I need that. It's not going to really hurt me. I don't even know if it does anything anymore. I might already be at max speed. So, I don't know if it even mattered. Which is partially why I was okay taking it, but I'm also fine, because I'm flying. Speed won't be that inconvenient. Two strength cards, okay. That's cool. Okay, that was the wrong way. Dude, you survived, that's so impressive. So I guess we're gonna go top right then. Since it has to have been there if it's there. It's that way. The top right now seems more likely. Uh, it's certainly more likely than bottom right. I shouldn't be opening these. I should really be saving my keys for the chest, like I said. But I just can't resist. And I'm sure this will ultimately come back to bite me. Lucky soul heart. Ow, I got hit twice there. Oh, I guess I get to use the strength card for this fight at least. That was close. I could go grab another strength card, which I should. So strength, all stats up, including a 1.5 times damage multiplier, which may or may not apply to my flies, but either way, it's still really good. Alright, let's just calm down. Oh, come on. Alright, these jerks. Wow, I got hit a lot of times. Jeez, I got wrecked. All right, well, we're going to need some really, really strong luck now in order to not die. 
I'm going to employ the proper strat here. What the proper strat is, is... Dang it, not that. Well, I just wasted my strength card, but... Getting to a half heart and then realizing that I'm going to have to bomb this away anyway, so I should have done that in a different room. But uh, this way I get the scapular activation and all that, so I'm in good shape as far as that's concerned. And that's one hit I can take every room. Which would be the optimal way for this to go. Of course I only would have been able to use the strength card at the very end of the last room, so it's fine. I'm not that upset about it. It was still a dumb thing to do, it's just not a big deal of a thing to do. Okay, I guess that's fine. I'll take Spoonbender and Cupid's Arrow. My little unicorn will work. Um, yeah, I guess it should be this way and then down. So it's Homing Tears and Piercing Tears from those two items. And that means that my tears go through enemies and also home in on enemies. So I can hit multiple enemies with one tier. But even with homing, it will not home in on the same enemy multiple times. Oops, well, there goes my soul heart. Alright, less than three health up and full health. I don't think it's worth taking unless I get a um, half heart available. M heart does not do it. This is the wrong way then. Okay. Odd mushroom, health up by one, but unfilled. Damage up by 0.3. Ah, it's a 50-50 here. Uh, anyway, and a bit of a range up, which is nice. The nice thing about carrion queens is that I can uh, shoot through them with piercing tears. This should be a very easy room, and since they're the ones that don't aid poop, I'm in a really nice position overall. Terrible item. Not this way. Piercing and homing is honestly a really nice combination, and it's crazy because they're so rare that I find both of them in a row in the same chest having already gotten a special item two of them before. It's weird. It's very weird. That was close. That was very close. Okay. Sacrificial Dagger is good, since I have Polaroid Invincibility on hit. Uh, that's 15 damage per hit. It does not block tears, though. This was the most ambiguous chest, apparently. Although, the path I went first should have been it, it just wasn't. And that's an unfortunate reality of my life, I guess. Alright, well, I think we're going to be okay. Alright. Nice, didn't even need my use item. Or that invincibility. Let's go clear the rest of the chest. Just for funds and stuff. Alright. That was good. Surprising. It went pretty much exactly as planned. But this is just a cool build that I just haven't really had. That was dumb. So I want to use it a little more. That was weird. It was just very weird. The game kind of threw everything at me. You didn't die last. That's not true. Whatever, though. Nice thing about not having a... Having my tears pierce is that they don't have knockback, so that was a really easy room when normally it's one of the hardest in the chest. That's pretty cool. Okay. Maybe if we're lucky, we'll find 
any more chests than we've already found, but also just, you know, uh, forget me now and we can do this all over again. Yeah, Chubb gets wrecked because it takes damage from each section individually. All right, there's our Polly that I wish I had a little sooner. So that's damage plus four and then times two. Whoa. And of course also significantly increases the damage of our flies. Like I said, would have been nice against a blue baby, for example, make us a little safer. But it was fun as it was, and I still won. Wow. Crazy. Soul heart for that. Dude, my damage is just wild. That's not a forget me now. Fitting final item. Uh, with 17 bombs, I guess I can look for top secret rooms. Not there. Oh, that's why that's not the boss. Okay, I thought there was something to do with that. Boss isn't here because the top secret room is here or here. No? All right, if you say so. It's not even on this path. That doesn't make sense, game. Game, why? Why do you lie to me? That should be the reason that that's not the boss, because that should have been the boss. Well, let's try here and here. Here, I guess? But really, why? Why do you do this? Where are you? Where are you hiding? Really? Come on. Okay. Dang. I was hoping that I would get a fortune teller machine so that I could blow it up for an item and then maybe get the uh, forget me now there. I didn't see it in the devil room or anything. I didn't get very many devil rooms. So I thought I had a chance. I did not. That was a fun run though. Low health for most of it. And really, the game just handed me some crazy stuff. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.